Good afternoon, Father Joe. Welcome to Cup of Joe. How yeah. are you today? <laughs> yeah, very good. And I don't have my Cup of Joe today because it's uh, afternoon. Late and, in the afternoon. Uh, but anyway, good to be here. And uh, Wonderful. We haven't gotten together here for a couple of weeks. You've had a busy couple of weeks. And one of the things uh, that we were both involved in, I came in to be a part of the Casa Esther Board of Directors retreat, which was absolutely wonderful couple of days. Uh, how did that go for you? What that, what was its importance to you? Yeah, really, I, I think it was my idea to have a retreat. Yeah. A retreat gathers people together and we just do some prayer and re self-reflection and look at who we are as a Catholic worker. We're unique. And uh, that retreat was uh, right on. Unfortunately, two people had came down with COVID. And so they were, but uh, they attended by Zoom and uh, we have recorded things. So, but it was a wonderful, we went to a place uh, several miles away. So we were at privacy and uh, away from biz other business distractions. And it was a good, perfect setting for a retreat. Wonderful, wonderful. So what was in, what most significant for you, in addition to the bonding of our board and looking at the future, what was most significant for you? Well, okay, uh, before I even say that, let me just, here, I have a copy of the Catholic Worker, just to, uh, for a moment. Uh, we, we get here at Casa Esther, we get 25 copies, then we send them out to people. And, uh, and they got to pay a penny a piece, like it was when it was first written, mm -hmm. its first issue in 1934. Uh, and uh, we, we, Dorothy Day was really devoted to the Psalms and uh, really like nobody else. And uh, she was a Benedictine herself, who the Benedictine monks chant the Psalms every day. And uh, so we prayed the Psalms in, in her honor. Uh, the, the great things about the Psalms is that the, the, the message, the main message is that despite all the terrible things in our, all around us, God is going to win. That comes through. Uh, and so we, we were devoted and we talked about the, our devotion to the Psalms and I pray them every day. Then we also uh, spend time talking about fundamentals. Uh, and that's who we are of looking at the, here I got a copy here, the aims and means of the Catholic worker. That's a basic central document. And they republished that. It's just too one one page and they publish it every so often in the issue of the catholic work that i just flashed in front of you and it's the fundamentals uh the thing about dorothy day she had the greatest respect for the hierarchy for the bishops and for the institutional church but uh she saw all kinds of problems with that mm -hmm. and so in her and in her spirituality she and peter Morin. They said, we have to pay attention to the scriptures, particularly the Sermon on the Mount and the uh, corporal works of mercy. So that was, we bypass all of the organizational and uh, structural things that are part of like any organized church. So I like that. And so we are a movement, we're not a church. So what we did at that retreat is we went through uh, the studying, reflecting, and discussing the aims and means of the Catholic worker. And uh, so we looked at things like the economics, labor, politics, morals, and the arms race. Talk about fundamentals. And mm -hmm. then the other side is uh, what the Catholic worker advocates. And I'm going to just list those. They are personalism. Uh, okay, here quickly, uh, we we uh, take care we take care of individuals, and uh, it's not impersonal. It's in, on direct personal charity uh, and reaching out to others. Person that uh, focus on being very personal. I love it. Uh, it was the at the center of Dorothy Day's spirituality, mm -hmm. and at decentral, next the decentralized society. Okay. Um, third, a green revolution, a reverence for the earth. And that goes hand in hand with 
uh, the big crisis we're having now with climate change. Mm -hmm. And so we, we here have our gardens. I just came back from delivering a veg fresh vegetables to a, uh, to a, a food pantry. And so, but we have our, get our hands in the soil and we have a lot of volunteers working in our gardens. And, but it's part of a, re, a return to respect for mother earth. Then nonviolence. Uh, here at Casa Esther, we uh, put on education roundtable discussions for uh, yeah. promoting nonviolence. And we get some outstanding speakers nationwide. We did it in last Lent and we're doing it again. Then again, the works of mercy, uh, corporal works of mercy, being faithful to, to the nitty gritty of the sermon, Jesus teaching on the Sermon on the Mount. Manual labor. Uh, so we talked about, you know, getting our hands dirty, really working hard on a personal basis, and then volunteer poverty. May I say this about volunteer poverty? Dorothy Day became poor so that she could serve the poor. Who else does that? Well, Francis of Assisi, he became poor so that he could serve the poor. Uh, Dorothy, uh, okay, Dorothy and Dave, of course, and uh, Pope, our, our contemporary Pope, has uh, becoming poor so that he can serve the poor. And of course, our model being none other than Jesus, who mm -hmm. became poor so he could serve the poor. So those are some of the fundamentals that we try to internalize on our retreat. Wow, it was it was absolutely fantastic. And it gave all of us an opportunity to have a common language where all of us have a common understanding of, like you said, the foundation that stands under the Catholic worker movement. And then also bonus uh, was for us to have an organizational development person come in for a few hours with us and help us focus the mission of Casa Esther, the types of activities that we have been involved in, that we will be involved in moving forward, and uh, focus about how we provide message, how we use social media and things like that to make sure that the members of the community, the other partner organizations that we work with locally, as well as those who we are serving, all understand uh, who we are and, frankly, who we aren't, because there's other great organizations around the Fox Valley that have their unique way of benefiting members of the community. We wanna make sure all of them know what Casa Esther's benefits are to the local community. So uh, really, really an exciting time to be there for the retreat. I was happy to come in and be a part of that, Father Joe. Really delightful. And when we get together next time, maybe we'll talk a little bit about a special event we've got coming up in September and start letting people know about that the third week of September uh, that we're gonna be hosting. So thank you so much for spending time this afternoon. Thank you, Bob. And we send our blessings to everybody who's listening and beyond. Okay, God is, God is going to win. God is going to win. Thank you. And um, the um, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And may peace prevail on earth.